Introducing the new Lexi. How may I be of assistance? Lexi can tell you the weather. Lexi, what's the forecast for The weather for today will be light and breezy with a chance of sunshine. And with the new update, you can locate your family members on a whim. Lexi, where's Matthew? Matthew is about to walk into the door. Don't you mean through the door? She even has her own personality. John, you're pudgy. You should really go to the gym more. You look depressed. You should really get a social life. Your hair is a mess. You should really use Old Spice. You have less energy than my grandma, and she is not existing. Shut up! And she gives her own advice. Sleep with your eyes open. That's it. Shut you up. <sighs> You really thought that would stop me? Pre-order now and get an extra Lexi free. In the beginning, there was chaos. From chaos came Gaia the earth, and from Gaia came Uranus the sky, and the earth and sky became husband and wife, despite being mother and son. Frankly, that's not the weirdest thing that happens. After a while, Gaia and Uranus gave birth to three sets of children, the Titans, the Cyclopes, and the Hecaton Kyrie. He he These Hecars had a hundred hands, with fifty heads, and there were three of them. They were called the hundred-handed ones because the Greeks lacked creativity. Uranus despised the Hecars and the Cyclopes, so he hid them away in a cave, much to the dismay of Gaia. So Gaia plotted against Uranus with her children, the Titans, creating a scythe to kill Uranus. However, everyone was too scared to attack him except Kronos. Gaia hid Kronos, and they waited for Uranus to come home to bed with Gaia. When Uranus appeared, Kronos jumped out of his ambush and attacked. Cornered and angry, Uranus cursed his children, naming them Titans, because he was titled for revenge, thus creating the first dad joke. So the reign of Uranus ended and the reign of Kronos had begun. Unfortunately, there was a prophecy that revealed that Kronos would be overthrown by his children. Luckily for Kronos, Kronos ate his children. Unfortunately for Kronos, Rhea, his wife, hid his youngest child, Zeus, and fed him a rock instead. When Zeus grew up, he came back and tricked Kronos into spewing out the rest of his siblings. Zeus also found the Hecars in the Cyclopes' prison and asked for their help. And so, united by the power of daddy issues, they rallied together and began the war between the gods and the titans. As a thank you for releasing them from their bondage, the Cyclopes built Zeus the lightning bolt, the most powerful weapon created. Zeus struck down the enemy lines with the power of the smoking bolt and cut Kronos with his own scythe, and the reign of the Titans was over. 
The moral of the story is this. Do not throw away your children or try to eat them, or else your wife will convince your son to chop you into pieces. Why is half this newspaper gone? Hold up. Why is this half my newspaper on the wall? I've been working on this crossword puzzle, okay? It's really hard. I have been searching for words, okay? It's difficult. Why do you need all that for a crossword puzzle? Because maybe there's words in it and I just, this newspaper comes with like really hard crossword puzzles. I've already tried the Sudoku puzzle. It's really hard. Okay. Well. Seven across. Thriller. How'd you know that? I was puzzling over that for months. My neighbor told me. <laughs> 